Hello everybody, I'm Andrew. And I'm Phil. Canned water, it's all the rage nowadays, but who did it first? Liquid death or monster tour water? We're gonna try out monster tour water and compare it to liquid death, so stay tuned. So regular viewers know that we have tried the different flavors of liquid death that we can get our hands on. Uh, liquid death being a canned sparkling water, flavored water that got popular through the music festival scene. Canned water seems to be the latest trend nowadays. One may think that Liquid Death came up with it first, but as Monster hints on the label on their can, they are saying subliminally that they came up with the idea first for the owner or the brainchild of the Vans Warped Tour. Yeah, it's not some like overt, you know, clash. It's just subtly there where they say in 2003, way back then, they were giving canned water. They were producing this and making it for musicians and uh, athletes. Only now, this year, they started selling it to everybody else. Yeah, to so, all of us peasants, you know. So who so. knows if this is the same exact formula as it is. This is obviously a, as a, we've got a sparkling deep well water and just deep well water. Who knows if that's what it was back then. But it's fun thing about, okay, 2003, Vans mm -hmm. Warped Tour. I, I have a list here of the bands that and were playing at that time. I was there, too. You were there. In St. Louis. You're the only one of us who have been to a music festival. So here we go. AFI, Andrew WK, The Ataris, Dropkick Murphys, Glassjaw, Pennywise, Rancid, Simple Plan, The Starting Line, Sum 41, Twisted, Face to Face, Less Than Jake, Me First in the Gimme Gimmies, Mess, Poison the Well, Suicide Machines, Taking Back Sunday, Taleb Kaweli, Thrice, The Used, The All-American Rejects, Atmosphere, Brand New, Demon, The Unseen, Vendetta Red, Yellow Card, Seventh Standard, Anthem, Arkham, Araya, Authority Zero, Avenged Sevenfold, Avoid One Thing, Coheed and Cambria, Count the Stars, From Autumn to Ashes, Heavy Trevi, The Line, M80, Matchbooks Romance, Motion City Soundtrack, Pepper, Places to Park, Plain White Tees, Rise Again, Story of the Year, Vox. Five minutes later. Parkway Rat, West End Crooks, Where Eagles Dare. It's a lot of bands. It, and it is. that tells you there's a lot of content to listen to. I know it's, hate, people hate listen, having their output be described as content. But right. a lot of music and bands to listen to. And so it's a hot day. You want some cool water. Right. Just got what? done playing in yeah. front of a massive... Crowd. Yep, you're back there, all these freaks backstage of the bands that you just heard, and you, some monster representative comes up and says, hey, here's some water. This. Unless it was a, it gets it you was hydrated. a Vans warp Tour representative. Either way, let's try this out. Let's stop wasting time. Give me those cups. Yep, we're going to try it out. Let's start with the regular deep well water, and then we'll go sparkling next. All I'm thinking right. this is comparative to that... Um, the liquid death, that black can. Yep. Or the, no, the white one. The mountain spring water. Yeah, this was that real smooth. Which is obviously says this is not deep sparkling. Well. Okay. So here we go. Deep it looks well. like clear water. We're not gonna bore you with that. Yep. Here we go. Mm-hmm. That is. Yeah, I mean I I don't want to get too bogged down in trying to describe water to you, but <laughs> right. compared to the other, they're both fine. They're both good. They're both refreshing, smooth. Mm -hmm. That one does have sort of a, it puts into my mind, maybe it was just because I read the, the name beforehand, sort of a, an earthiness to it, like a well. Because okay. I, when I was a kid, we had well water. Right. And that kind of reminded me a little bit of that, just a more purified version of that. Right. Okay. So. Yeah, it tastes like purified, well water. good water to me, you know? Like, yeah. There's it's not, not, you're it's not, not sticking out. Like, I'm not like, oh my gosh, I would drink this over liquid death any day. Yeah, if you got it, and if someone says, is Monster Tour water, deep, deep well water good? You'd be like, that works. Yeah. Works for me. Now here's the sparkling version. Here's the sparkling version, yeah. Same thing, apparently, but carbonated. Yep. Here we Real go. clear. It's just so interesting how adding some carbonation, mm -hmm. given that this is literally the exact same water just with carbonation in it, it gives it just such a twang to yeah. it. Yeah. You know? Now, I'll be the first to admit I'm not a biggest fan of sparkling water. I would almost I would rather have the regular, just straightforward water. Um, but if you are into it, 
that is a pretty straight down the middle sparkling water. You're not gonna, there's no flavor to it. It is what it is. That's a liquid death competitor. And personally, you're not gonna get any kind of, uh, you know, um, you're not getting anything from this that you wouldn't get from that, in my opinion, so. And I mean. both labels read the exact same yeah. on both of them, so. They both serve the purpose. Now, if you're looking for an answer of which one came first, we don't know. Yeah. We're just telling you what Monster says. Um, and does it matter? Not really. They're not really no. fighting about it right now. So maybe in the future, if they grow big enough, they will. But Yeah, because I think Monster is still an energy drink company yeah. first. Yeah, and they, they know what their little their niche is. And I think this is just something to where they're like, you know what, we've had this. Mm -hmm. It's in the factories getting made. We left it for just the celebrities yeah. and the talent. Mm -hmm. Let's bring it out for the public and see what happens since that's working for Liquid. And Death. that's a good brand. That's good branding. It sounds stupid for most of us to be like, mm -hmm. well, who cares if it was just if it was for the musicians? But from just a shallow marketing point of view, you go like, well, here's the thing you guys were never allowed to have because this was served backstage at a concert festival. Right. And, and I see some people, you know, they're thinking that that's really cool. Like, yeah. there yeah. must be the good stuff because you gave it to bands and no one else. Right. Because, you know, you're just like, oh, okay, this is what Thrice is drinking at work here, you know? <laughs> and that's, that move sells. It's, that's, sales 101. That's like, just how do you pitch something that's sort of basic so that everybody buys it, and that's what it is. You're, or, you're, this was the water that Davey Havoc from A AFI, right. you know? This is what he was drinking backstage in 2003. Mm -hmm. So there's your hook. If you want to if you want to pick a side, you know, say you liked the Warp Tour more than you like whatever Liquid Death represents, and then you go, okay, well, that's my choice, whatever. Nobody else cares, but okay, here we, you're going to be fine one way or the other. Right, but we can't, you know, leave this video mm -hmm. without bringing up the irony of it all. What's that? The owner of Liquid Death came up with the idea of Liquid Death canned water because he was at a Vans warp Tour mm. and he was watching the attendees drink monsters, you know, and uh, after the can got empty, they would then go to the water fountain and fill it up with water okay. and then drink the water. And then he's like, ah, canned water. So I wonder if it was well water that they were serve, sell, uh, serving there. I mean, I know, it, it's whatever, I'm just, just you know, whatever venue they're at, wherever, yeah. I mean, it's just whatever town's okay. public water that was. Yep, we but, could have been, but yeah, and they, maybe they heard that story and go, hey, wait a minute, we're connected to that. Yeah. We're going to take it, you know, we're going to take our chance in this market, so. Let's do it. You right. know, these are both fine. There's nothing to write home about. They're fine. They're comparative to Liquid Death, the mm -hmm. two versions. Uh, not the flavored versions, obviously. So maybe in the future, Monster will release flavored versions. Curious about that. They want to see how it works first. But yeah, you know, you're not going to go wrong if you want to try a, have a sparkling water branded with Monster. So yeah, get out there and try it. Why not? Yeah, all your friends drinking a Monster Energy drink, you grab some of this. They might, they'll just be thinking you're drinking their Energy drink with them. They'll think you time traveled from 2003. Ooh, and you were watching the Ataris. Wow. Well, speaking of time traveling, we are now at the end of this video. That's right. So if you like what you're seeing, go ahead and give us a like, smash that subscribe button, and hit that bell so you don't miss a video. Thanks for watching, everybody. We're out.